Welcome to Topeka West today for Tuesday, March 19th, 2019. I'm your host, Ben. Today's lunch menu includes crispitos with cheese sauce, boneless buffalo chicken bites with roll, or, or spicy chicken strips with onion rings. All submissions for Zeitgeist are due by Friday, March 22nd. You can bring your work to Mr. Newberry's room, C304. Hadley Overstreet will be signing with Midland University Thursday, March 21st at 4.15. Congratulations to Eli Perez, whose print back alley has been bestowed a silver medal award in the National Scholastic Art and Writing Arts. Westside Bank will be the only location where you may purchase prom and post-prom tickets. Prom tickets are $20 and post-prom tickets are $7. Tickets may not be purchased by or for freshmen. You do not need to attend prom in order to attend post-prom. You may purchase tickets this week today. today during seminar, tomorrow during seminar, at or after school, Thursday during seminar, and Friday during seminar, and after school. All junior women are invited to participate in White Rose, where they process into the arena before the graduates, but they all must attend, they must attend all of the meetings to fully understand what part they play in the graduation ceremony. Those interested should plan to meet March 20th, March 28th, April 11th, May 2nd and May 16th during seminar in Ms. Boer's room, B207. Interested in joining Topeka West Charger Guard? We are starting practice for interested members today. Any questions? Contact Akoya Peters at apeters617 at tps501.org or any Topeka West Charge Guard member. Looking at activities this week, Tuesday, girls soccer, junior varsity and varsity plays, at Homer against Hayden at 4.30 p.m. There's also a bowling banquet in the cafeteria at 5.30. Wednesday, there's, a parent, there's an informational parent meeting for those interested in trying out and cheer at 6 in the cafeteria. This meeting is required if you plan to cheer. Pizza to Pass is in the cafeteria right after school. Thursday, Allen County Community College visits during Charger Time, Varsity Girls Soccer versus Highland Park. Friday, no school, but baseball plays at Bettis Field against Johnny Heights and DeSoto for their first action of the season. Well, that's it for me. And now a special message from your buddies with an ACT Minute. My name is Eric Rethman, an assistant in Mr. Schnacker's ACT prep class. Today's video lesson is on ACT mathematics concerning pre-algebra and the distribution property as well as the order of operations. The order of operations are as follows. The acronym is PIMDOS, which stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, and adding and subtracting. For this problem, the first step would be use parentheses and uh, the distribution property because parentheses come first in the order of operations. So you'd multiply the negative 4 out to the 6 um, and also the negative 2, so you distribute the 4 to each one in the, inside of the parentheses. And that'll leave you with negative 4x and positive 8 because the two negatives cancel each other out. And since there's already a negative eight at the end of the problem, the two eights cancel each other out, um, leaving x equals zero, because uh, the x's um, only have zero to be uh, equal to, because the, uh, the constant is, there is no other constant other than zero. So the answer would be b or zero.